Setting up your Zebra printer involves five basic steps. First, install the Zebra Designer drivers before doing anything else. Then, unbox your printer. After unboxing your printer, connect your printer to the computer, add power, and turn on the printer. Install some media and ribbon. And finally, ensure that you can print a label. Go to zebra.com slash zt231-info, click on drivers, and download the latest version of the Z-Designer driver. For the driver install, we will be using the latest version of the Z-Designer driver. Double-click on the driver executable file. The InstallAware wizard opens to verify the software contents. On the Zebra welcome screen, click Next. In the Select Destination screen, click Next. Once the complete installation screen appears, click Next. Select I have read the information above and click Next on the important information screen. Several installation screens will pass by. When the Completing the Zebra Technologies wizard screen appears, deselect View Release Notes and Run the Printer Installation Wizard. Click Finish. The Pre-Install Driver Package screen appears. Go to zebra.com slash setup and download Zebra Setup Utilities. Follow the instructions for installing Zebra Setup Utilities. You will need Zebra Setup Utilities after connecting the printer to the computer. Unboxing your printer. Cut open the box. Remove the packing material. Remove the power cord. Carefully lift the printer out of the box. Remove the plastic bag. Remove the documentation pack. Remove the protective film. Open the media door. Remove the protective tape. Open the print head. Remove the label used in shipping. Close the print head. Close the media door. Save all the packing materials. Connect your printer and power on. Remove the port blocker label. Connect a USB cable to the printer and to your computer. Connect your printer to power. Turn on your printer. Installing Media and Ribbon. Before you can confirm the printer is ready to print, you need to install some Media and Ribbon. If your printer will be operating in direct thermal mode, you can skip installing the ribbon. Open the media door. Open the print head. Slide the media guide out. Pick up your roll of media. Carefully remove and recycle any dirty or torn labels on the outside of the media roll. You always want to ensure your media is clean when you load it into your printer because dirty media with dust or particles on it can cause damage to the print head and over time degrade your print quality. Slide the media guide out. Place a roll of media on the media supply hanger. Push the media roll back. Feed the media under the dancer assembly, through the media sensor, and under the print head. Slide the media guide in. If you are printing in thermal transfer, place the ribbon on the ribbon supply spindle and push it back. Bring the ribbon under the print head, wrap it around the ribbon take-up spindle, and tie the ribbon in a knot. Turn the ribbon take-up spindle to remove any ribbon slack. Close the print head. The media and ribbon loading paths are displayed on the media door. Close the media door. Press pause to enable printing. The ribbon and media error you might have seen when you first powered up the printer should be gone now. Several labels will feed out as the printer auto calibrates. If you have special media shapes or considerations, take a look at the manual calibration video for more information. Print a label. Now that you know your printer is ready to print, it is time to confirm it is communicating with your computer. On your computer, open Zebra Setup Utilities. In the top area, select your printer's icon. Then click the Open Printer Tools button. Select the Support tab. Under Print Configuration Label, click Print. Congratulations! Your printer is ready to print from your application. 
Thank you for watching and be sure to check the other videos on how to use your printer.